Muslim YouTubers accused of deliberate incitement for confronting Jewish people. Um, so on May 22nd, two Muslim YouTubers, Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa, were accused of direct and deliberate incitement, uh, a direct and deliberate act of incitement after questioning Jewish people in the Golden Golders Green area of the United Kingdom about Israel and Palestine. Mohammed Hijab and Ali Dawa, who together hold um, a million subscribers on YouTube, shared a videos of themselves asking Jewish people to denounce Israel's operations. In Dawa's video, he is seen following Jewish people, including children, and asking them if they condemn what Israel does. The member of the security trust, community security trust, uh, said that they see this confrontation as a deliberate act of incitement that would inevitably alarm the community and stir up tensions. Well, incitement. So they are advocating on their YouTube channels to go off to Jewish people and ask them if they are supporting Israel? No, they're not encouraging other people to do that. So what were they doing? So how is this incitement? So this um community security trust um it seems like a um uh organization that like fights anti-semitism or something um they said that it was um it's they are going to a jewish neighborhood like to confront jewish people over israel like they're deliberately going to an orthodox area to show pictures of the big h and have a very like controversial form of protest they said specifically oh on um shabbat as well um the we see it as a direct and deliberate act of incitement that was inevitably going to an alarm the community and stir up tensions it's the equivalent of britain first going to newham or tower hammocks and confronting muslims on the streets there and what's wrong with that like confronting, you mean like standing in the street and just asking people questions? I Excuse me, I can't believe like, wait a minute, unless I'm missing something, I think like I'm about to defend Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa. Why well, are that's you why I this? wanted to talk about this because I don't wait. think what they did was incitement. Yeah, what the hell? You're going to a Jewish area and publicly just asking people about their views and that's incitement? I don't think that they're necessarily inciting either, but I do know that the previous caravans of people driving through neighborhoods screaming anti-semitic and inciting violence against That's not Jews, what these people did i i i know i'm just saying i think that people are feeling because of that one maybe we're feeling threatened by caravans of people with pictures on the side now i'm not saying what they did is necessarily the same thing by any means but i do know that there's been a from the, the friends of mine that are living in uk particularly london they are very concerned uptight scared at all about any kind of protest and what it could devolve into now i'm not saying that these guys did that or were intending to do something along those natures nature i just think that people are like very um hyper vigilant because of what's happened and then i also have some stuff to say about what they had on their van but i know that yeah yeah we could but we, i want to give we, a little more context just let me let me just make a few points okay Obviously, we don't agree with Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dabo on their views, right? What we're judging right now is whether or not this was incitement. And the fact that other people had some bad experience with some other people is, um, I mean, I know, Rivka, you're not suggesting this, obviously. You're just giving us context, right? So I'm not saying Rivka is suggesting this. But um, I just want to also add, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure Rivka agrees with this, that the fact that people are sensitive to this issue because of uh, the, um, the activities of other people does not justify accusing Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa of incitement. These people, Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa are like, people are saying like, oh, this is like going to the Muslim area of Birmingham and asking Muslims about their views. But yeah, exactly. And what's wrong with that? I did that in Australia in the Muslim, um, the Muslim neighborhood of Sydney. 
And I went there and started asking Muslims who were willing to talk to me about their views on ex-Muslims, right? Um, I, I interviewed Muslims in the Muslim area of Sydney about their views on ex-Muslims. Um, and yeah, and I didn't harass anybody. I just, anybody who was willing to uh, answer my questions came forward and asked, this is not incitement. Just because you're in a Muslim in area and confronting people about their views, unless they actively went and harassed, chased people down who didn't want to talk to them, which doesn't seem like that's what they did. So that there was a little bit of that in one of the videos. Like, like Ali Dawa followed a group of people who also had kids with them for seemed like a, a half a block, maybe a full block, like asking them questions when show they me. want to. Um, it's okay. Well, uh, it'll take me a second to find the video, but um, I also wanted to notice that some of the reason behind some of the tensions and maybe why they felt that this was so inflammatory was because. Um, According to the Community Service Security Trust, with it, which is a charity set up to for the protection of Jewish people in the United Kingdom, um, there had been 267 reported anti-Semitic attacks um, before this took place, and uh, and just a day before, um, or a, a few days before, there was a Jewish driver that was assaulted in the same area. In a really violent way and that person's since been arrested i think they're out on bail but um yeah so there was a really violent attack um well, not, very uh, shortly just to clarify not though. by these guys not the, no. by separate group of people right yeah so again i i i, I don't know i don't I, like do you have any of the videos uh rivka you have your hand up. um yeah so i watched some of the videos too and they're as Susanna's looking for it, but I'm going to say I saw two different kinds of things. I saw them wanting to talk to people and they were like, no, I don't want to talk to you or I don't want to be filmed. They're like, okay, you don't want to be filmed and kind of moved on. Okay. And That's then good. I also saw some where they seemed like they were being yeah, a little too insistent and mm -hmm. might have made these people feel uncomfortable Right. You know, and it was clear that these people weren't interested in talking to them because they Which didn't... is not incitement again. It's still wrong. It's wrong. Right. Like, I'm just I'm yeah. not saying they were inciting. I'm I saying not... this is what I, I saw. That I didn't say you said that. There yeah. were two. But then there was also some interesting stuff because of um one of the things that I don't know if it was Ali Dawa or the hijab guy said um clearly that he did not believe that um jews are under no obligation to answer for the actions of israel no that was muhammad hijab and he went on to say generalizations to any community including the jewish community is unacceptable which is kind of interesting in the sense that that's not usually what you hear from people most of the time people say whether he believes it or not he said it so he's making it his public um, stance most of the time often I hear people demanding that mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. Jews have to are Israel and Israel is all Jews and so right. often you see people mm -hmm. going to protest something happens in Israel at like a Jewish community center because the Jews are there so I thought that was kind of interesting and then he had some big H messages on his van which I think some people got upset about which i don't know is necessarily incitement in my opinion i think no. the conflation he's making is absolutely crap mm. yeah I, I disagree with what he's saying i don't yeah. think he's saying it is incitement yeah right. did you find the video susanna you look like you mm -hmm. okay um yeah, I mean, even if they followed some people a little bit before, if, if they were not comfortable with it, again, that's wrong, a wrong methodology. However, it's still far away from incitement, um, which is ridiculous. By, by the way, this this kind of accusations, if if this accusation of incitement is inaccurate, it really does a disservice to Jewish people, given what how the the level of discrimination that the Jewish people are facing inaccurate accusations of discrimination makes it a lot difficult. And this is like Jewish people are the community of people that are ex experiencing discrimination more than 
anyone else around the world, right? So you want to be able to identify these. These inact these. It, 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 again, if this is an, an it, not an incitement and you're calling it an incitement, you make an exaggeration. It, yeah, yeah, you're making it a lot more difficult for us to um, tackle this. But in, anyway, Susanna, you wanted to show something. Well, okay. So granted, in the video, this is the only time where this occurs, or at least that is shown in the video. But you were saying, does he like follow people? This is just oops, one instance where that happens. Um, let me know if you can't hear this. This might be Afghanistan. Uh, this is Afghanistan. The no, brutality in Afghanistan. Sixty-eight people were killed in a in a by a bomb by uh, I don't know some. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's yeah no one talks about that. Yeah. Yeah. No one talks about that. Can we, can we get, can we get, get some of your opinion? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Israel Terry Yeah? Do you condemn the killing of Hanukkah Kim? 100%. Yeah? Yeah? 100%. Yeah? So, uh, what uh, you condemn uh, what Israel is doing? Uh, you condemn what Israel is doing? You have innocent kids like yours. Imagine if your kids, this will happen to the first to stand. Very funny. I'll be the first to stand against the other person. Many of these Zionists, right? And you have to Okay, um, Haz? Do you want to ask the people about coming? Okay, that was a bad tactics. Like, yeah. I, I think I think just a few se first seconds that he followed him was fine because he started the conversation. Like he like he's talking to them, right? So if you're talking to me, I'm assuming that it's okay to, to talk to you back. And they did hide the children's faces. Yeah. Right. But I think the worst thing you could say is that after a few seconds of you seeing that they're not interested, maybe you should lay off. Which is like. A good advice, and I could say like, yeah, the worst thing that I see is that Ali Dawa followed a group of Jewish people for maybe four seconds too long, which is a f fair criticism, but not <laughs> incitement to violence. God damn it. Like, what is, that is, this is actually a good, this is actually, I encourage, other than that following part, this is good. Like, they're like Muslims and Jewish people, like, having a conversation about their views with each other. In fact, yeah, yeah, I will like I'll support this, right? Like, th this is dialogue. Other than the following, the for too for too long. Rifka, you seem to want to say something. So You're, this is yeah. their this is their video, right? That they made. So, from what I can see, it doesn't seem threatening. You know, it might make people uncomfortable, but that's different than incitement or threatening. But we also don't know if they're not going to show instances like if I were making a video, I wouldn't show the places where it went really wrong. And mm. so I don't know if this is the entirety of what happened and will we, you know, but yeah. I'm guessing it must be because I would assume other video, you know, personal videos of people that they engaged with may have would have surfaced. Or if they do, then we'll see. Because if someone feels threatened nowadays, the first thing they do is take out a camera most of the time, or bystanders do. So it's hard to know exactly everything that happened. But what we can see, you know, like I said, people may be annoyed or uncomfortable, but that's different than incitement to violence or threatening someone or, you know, slurs or something like that. Yeah, I agree. I think um, there was a lot of other videos that they put out where they were taking this display car to a lot of other sites, including the Israeli embassy and um, a company that makes weapons for Israel or something, or maybe partners with them in um, some sort of military capacity. And um, just kind of going around showing their uh signs in different areas um i think i completely forgot what i was going to say i'm so mad right okay now. no okay so here's the question when did you watch the did you watch these videos because I i'm wondering if they showed a diversity of opinions among jewish people i watched uh, most of them yeah okay so did they show that some jewish people and other jewish people had different opinions yes okay so Overall, I think this is a positive thing, okay? Uh, when I went to, I forgot the part of Sydney, which is the Muslim area. Uh, that video, by the way, went viral. 
Um, but uh, when I was interviewing Muslim people in um, the Muslim part of Sydney, I made sure to, because a lot of people like Imam Tawhidi took the, the part where it showed that the Muslims were like wishing me, like wishing, like saying, yes, it's okay to exec execute ex-Muslims. And they clipped that part and they played it. And that part like went viral on Twitter and stuff. But if you actually show, look at the whole video that I showed, I showed a diversity of opinions, right? There was some people who were like saying, yes, we should like, we're gonna take all over the world and execute ex-Muslims. But there were many of Muslims who were like, uh, even like completely okay with letting people criticize Islam, right? So the, if you look at the entire interview I did, it showed a diversity of opinion. So it, it's not like, and people say like, if, if people say like, oh, they're not, they're clipping, they're editing this to make it seem this way or that way. Well, if they included a diversity of, of opinions, I think this is a, this was a very helpful project because these are people like Muslims don't watch us, Muslims watch their channel, right? So a lot of Muslims have this view of Jewish people with being just all the same view uh, and homogenous like um, opinion, but now they're watching their favorite Muslim channels interviewing Jewish people and they see like, hey, not all Jewish people think alike, so maybe I should not judge all Jewish people the same way because, the, you know, and even the ones that I disagree with, maybe some of them have some points that is more that they come to the conclusions differently than what I assumed, uh, um, the, you know, from the way I thought they would come to their conclusions, right? So I don't know. I think this was the opposite of incitement. This, I think this was like whatever incitement we saw, I think these kind of videos might actually help discourage those. Like, look, you guys are uh, like the people, the other people who are attacking Jewish people. Look, we're actually managing to have a dialogue with them, right? And also, you shouldn't attack Jewish people. Uh, like, look, like we are popular Muslim channels, and we are capable of having a discussion. I think this was like a, this was I, I would even if I just even though I disagree with Muhammad Hijabs and Ali Dawa's views, I think overall more of this is needed. But go on, Susanna. I remembered what I was going to say. Um, in the video, it's highlighted or series of videos on these different channels. Um, it's highlighted how the police were called like very quickly into them arriving in Golders Green, um, like apparent, like within five to 10 minutes. Um, I actually think it's awesome that the police were there because they're ensuring the safety of everyone while still being able to um, respect everyone's rights, right? So I don't even necessarily think that that's a bad thing to just have them, but some people are saying that they're like being monitored to see, I guess there's different well, laws in the UK around hate speech and anti-Semitism. What's her name? Was it Lauren Southern? When yes. she showed up in the uh, in the Muslim area of Sydney to interview Muslims, the police showed up for her as well. You know, I think it's fine as long as they're letting the interview happen. Actually, that was worse because they were not letting the interview happen. Anyways, yeah. I would I do want to address what Soha is saying. Soha is saying, I mean, okay, separate group of people, but they were influenced by these two morons. You don't know that, Soha. How do you know that? How do you how do you claim that? It seems like these people. It seems like these videos would have the opposite effect of inciting violence. These videos are to me, unless I'm missing something. These videos seem to be uh, the remedy um, because they're encouraging discussion and dialogue instead of um, instead of violence. I don't I don't think I don't think that's an accurate. Just because we disagree with people, we don't have to accuse them of the worst crimes right like yes we we are an op like ideologically we are again you know we're on the opposite side of ali dava muhammad hijab that doesn't mean that if we see an accusation of incitement of violence we should just jump on the bandwagon and be like oh yes these are people we don't like therefore accusations must be true rifka um i also think that i mean on some level i think the incitement that some people may have felt and i'm just uh, merely speculating, hmm. but was the big H sign in and of itself was what was perceived on some level hmm. because they were equating that with what's happening in, in Gaza and making these comparisons to the bad Germans that start with N. And um, we're using coded language 
for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about. Big H being, you know, what happened in World War II to Jewish people. In Poland. Um, and all over. Yeah, mainly, yeah, number one. Poland and Germany and yeah. all over. I know, but that's what I'm just trying to give people some. Um, oh, oh, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So they would, so they get it. But so I think that on some level, people perceive that as an, because it's such a sensitive subject, a, and also because it's such a, a false equivalence, in this particular case, because they were discussing Gaza, and the, trying to draw this connection and equate the two right and yeah i get it y so yeah yeah but again as you mentioned even if it's wrong it's still not incitement right, right. Uh, all right yep yeah. great point um so we came out <laughs> we are very yeah. consistent free speech absolutists here <laughs> yes we are officially great job whoever came up with this acquisition of incitement you made us defend ali dawa and muhammad hijab we atheist republic is officially Defend, <laughs> defending Ali Dava and Muhammad Hijab against accusations of... It wouldn't be the first time we've defended and, their free speech. Yes, unless there's something that is not being mentioned here that we're missing, but doesn't seem like it, but we are willing to change our opinion if new information comes out. As always, that goes with everything that we report here, okay? Um, wait, what is this blank name is saying? You want to read this? Blank name is saying, I don't think they are inciting violence, but considering the circumstance, it was inappropriate. Why? Also, it, there may not be explicit hate, but implicit. I don't, okay, so I, other than their views on the big H, I don't know why it is inappropriate. Given the circumstances, I think more dialogue is exactly what we need. So I don't know what why is it inappropriate. Like, how well, long do we have to wait before I we can talk just, about it? I, given this fact that this, like, very violent attack happened like literally a few within yeah, a day maybe, or a well, maybe more dialogue is a solution no a absolutely or just tense right which yeah. is what i said specifically when they see cars of people because of the incident with about a week two weeks ago when they were dry it was a planned event and they were driving through jewish neighborhoods and screaming violent insightful right nasty horrific things so that may be what he's thinking about or she's thinking about blank now i don't know but maybe I that was the context that, where they were going i don't know that it was necessarily but, inappropriate but yeah rivka i have a solution to that okay here's if i don't i don't think mohammed the or al Dawa would watch this but here's a recommendation i do this will. again do this again but go with kosher food and just like falafel or whatever and start giving out like say like muslim cooked kosher food for jewish people to come eat with muslims like we have halal and kosher food at the same time and it's free you could come over sit down and eat our food that we cooked for you and we will have a conversation over food i think that would the food will be an obvious sign that this is a friendly gesture. I think you're right. And I also think how these things tend to be better received or perceived is when you make an invitation. Hey, we're coming to your community. We want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. We're going to be here. You know what I mean? So uh, at least maybe that might alter the perception where it's becoming an, you know, please come and talk to us. Yes. And we made food. <laughs> I, I just, I, I also don't like the assumption that if men with beard showed up, show up and because they're Muslims inherently, just them showing up inherently means a threat. Do you know what I mean? That suggestion, well, some absolutely. people might be- Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so, some people, some people seem to be like, it's an act of violence just because you look like a Muslim, you showing up here, we're going to perceive it as a threat just because of the way you look. So I'm I'm seem, I'm assuming that some people are suggesting that, like your your presence here, it's a it's a threat by itself, right? So I think like if some people are are suggesting that 
it's I'm getting that vibe for some people. So I just want to highlight that as well. Well, and I would like to point out that judging people and making assumptions and thinking that something about them based on the way they look is exactly some of the issues that uh, people were suffering in, because this was a particularly orthodox community where people were visibly wearing the signs of their religion. And that's what's happened to a lot of visibly Jewish people is people see them and they make an assumption about them and then they act on that assumption right or wrong and often in violent ways. So we shouldn't do the same thing to others because it just, it doesn't, A, it's not cool <laughs> and B, it's not how you treat people and it's, not about equanimity and it's not about human rights and all these things people get to look how they look and if you don't like it there's no yeah anyway hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.